uh, Plato's Socrates, says, look, I never pretended to teach anybody anything, and I never asked a penny to do it. What did Socrates do? He went out into the Agora and started asking questions, and he didn't charge a fee. It was the sophists, right, the pretenders, right, the pretend philosophers who said, this is what I'm going to do for my living. Socrates said, no, 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 this is what you do, in his case, because He had to, not because he was going to do it for money. And in fact, he argues, um, again, in, in Book One of the Republic, he said, philosophy does not exist for its own sake. It doesn't exist for the sake of the philosophers. It exists for the sake of the people who it's trying to help find a way to the love of wisdom. So in other words, too bad if the philosophers lose their job. Too bad if the sophists lose their job. Um, David Constan, in one of, I think, the very good papers that we received for this conference, one of our keynote papers, David Constan said that, that really in the contemporary world what we have to do is tell the truth to power. He was quoting Noam Chomsky. And in the paper I just, the session I just came from, one of the young members, one of the new people in our profession, an assistant professor, talked about his own painful experience of telling the truth to power and basically losing his job. And there was another person in the room who I happened to know was just denied tenure and in my judgment for the same reason. So in other words, when you, when you do go into the marketplace and tell the truth to power, you run the risk of a great deal of pain, like for example losing your job. But it's interesting uh, because the question that, that was posed in this paper is, so what do I do? Do I stop telling the truth? Because if I stop telling the truth, or looking for it, or trying to get the powers to think about the truth, if I stop doing that, then I can't be a lover of wisdom and I can't do my job. If I do it, I'm going to get fired and I can't do my job. How do I do it? I don't know. Maybe I've been lucky because I think I've been fairly audacious over the years. I'll never forget the time when I uh, was serving on a personnel committee and opposed a new president.